Hello, this is Larry Schultz and welcome to my little demonstration of the one of the rigs that I set up on my rigging a quadruped CD. This is pretty fairly basic, but it's very stable, very fun to use kind of rig. For example, uh, I can go in here and let me just change the view here slightly. Uh, basically when I'm posing it, I might start for example with the feet and click on one of these controllers here. Uh, this is the IK controller for the uh, left rear leg. T for move, and I can move it into you know into a position that I want to. Uh, thing to watch when you when you've when you're rigging is the joints. Are are the joints stable? Do they pop? Do they shudder? Do they flip? And if you notice, I can get this in some pretty extreme poses, and the joints don't flip or pop. I can go back here. I can rotate into a pose. And the joints are very stable. So that's very important. Let me undo this. So the thing to do, in fact, when, when I'm creating a rig, uh, this is sort of the things I, I put it through, some calisthenics, to see if it's going to behave properly. Let me turn the bone x-ray off so for just for right now. You can see what this is doing. So see, no, no strange popping on the joints. I can uh, get some nice little poses out of this thing quickly. Okay, let me undo this. Uh, I've also got, uh, right now, what you're seeing, all these sort of global controllers. I can select this one, for example. This is the main body null. The body's parented to that one. I can hit Y for rotate. And see how I can puppet this around a little bit. Nice and stable. I can get some very extreme poses, and it's not freaking out or anything. And if you notice, the feet are staying absolutely locked. They're not slipping or sliding and this is pretty, this is pretty fun. I can move them up and down around like this. Okay. These are what I use for, for just sort of the global kind of posing. So I can get him sort of set up this way. I can then go to the next controller here. And I've got even sort of finer control. I can move just the front of the, the torso around. And again, this is just for gross posing. I can also position the head. Okay. Let's pull this guy back up here a little bit. So you can kind of see how I, I can move him around. And, we, and if you notice, that when, once I rotate the head into a position, this is very important. I can move him around and the head doesn't change its orientation. See, he's still looking that direction no matter what I'm doing. And I've also got control over the tail. I can move this around up and down and see how it kind of automatically places that curvature in there. I can rotate this as well like that. So very easy. Once I've got the gross posing kind of done, I still can go in here. And let's turn on bone x-ray again so I can see the bones. I can come out here and click here and just rotate. Click here and rotate. So I, I've got nice little global con uh, fine control over positions of like knees and elbows. And I can also do this. I can twist these as well. See that? So nice little controls So it's, like I said, it's, it's fun to use, and there's a lot of little tiny controls I can use to do all kinds of things. I've got control over the mouth. 
okay? So that's sort of what I do when I'm posing is just start with the global controls and then uh, fine tune with the, the local controls, like um, rotations around these different joints on these bones. So not, a, not an issue with this. So it's very simple to use. And that's, that's one of the things I do show on the uh, CD is getting this basic thing and then adding some other kinds of controls or different ways of configuring them. So anyway, I hope this gives you an idea of what can be done and thanks for taking a look.